In health news tonight, another threat in extreme weather conditions that are about to hit New England. News 8's medical reporter Jocelyn Mementa is live tonight in our New Haven newsroom. Jocelyn? And Darren, with all the snow heading our way and strong winds, there will be snow drifts and potential power outages. And the threat of carbon monoxide poisoning is real. Snow drifts, possible power outages, a recipe for carbon monoxide poisoning. You can't see, smell, or taste the gas. So when the snow blows against the house, it can block vents. If you have a gas-powered dryer, definitely make sure that vent is cleared away because the carbon monoxide won't have anywhere to go but back into your house. Dr. Kelly Johnson Arbor heads up the Center for Wound Healing and Hyperbaric Medicine at Hartford Hospital, where people with CO poisoning are treated with oxygen. Another potential source, a blocked car tailpipe. Before you turn on your car after the snow starts, be sure to clear off the exhaust area. Even if you can't see snow, if you, even if you think that there's not snow in the tailpipe, be sure to make sure that the, the tailpipe is completely cleared out because there could be snow in there and you might not see it. Generators, she says, should be kept outside at least 20 feet away from your home. You should never put a generator in the house, in the garage, even with the door open, the, the, the gases can drift back into the garage or into your house and it can kill you. Now in the blizzard of 2013, there were a couple of deaths linked to carbon monoxide poisoning. For more information on safety tips, log on to WTNH.com. Back to you.